So a couple years ago, they remade uh, DuckTales, the classic NES game. Uh, this was done by WayForward, and part of the whole appeal of that was that they really leaned into the era that uh, DuckTales came from. Yes. So they made a lunchbox, right. uh, which we all had Careful, as kids. there's a lot of shredded money in there. Yeah. Yes. So. Um, and inside this lunchbox is one of the coolest items I think I've ever seen. Yeah, so it's a, you can just pull it out yeah, there. It's a, it's a gold DuckTales cartridge. Yeah, so they made a gold DuckTales cartridge with a little manual and a poster and everything like that. This is an original NES cart, which doesn't actually, I, th I think we we might have tested it in the office. It at is some DuckTales, point. but the odd thing is it's not using original NES boards. It's oh. uh, IM 8 bit. Uh, they commission them and they use oh, Time Walk Games uh, huh. PCBs inside. Yeah. So it's one of those odd, like, wow, they went through a lot of work yeah. Uh, yeah. To, to get these things done, and, and we're just throwing shredded throwing money, money everywhere. Yeah. So but they put Uncle Uncle Scrooge's shredded money in here. Yeah. Number one favorite thing to do. Yeah. A lot of 150. Uh, but in the 80s, someone decided to release this: the Homework First video game lock. Are you kidding me? <laughs> By Master Lock? By no, it's not. It's it, they use oh. all the terminology and saying like there's all these trademarks. So you're thinking it's a Master Lock product, but no, they just put the names on so there. So this was a big actual physical lock you can put in front of the car. Oh, this is ridiculous. a chastity yeah. belt for your NES. Pretty much, it yeah. is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it like locks into the front hole and then like make sure you can't put in a cartridge. Locks uh, into the front hole. Yeah, it yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. Per oh this my is, God. <laughs> so was this a precursor to those like those cable locks? You, you thread yeah, because I had a friend. Uh, yeah, I had one very of much. It's yeah, very it's much like that. Yeah. yeah. And so someone was like, "We need to make money off this Nintendo thing. How can we do that? We don't make games. Well, we make locks. And, and like, why and, not?" And so you would have parents, and they'd, they'd carry a key for this, or they no, would... it's combination lock. Oh. Yeah. So you so actually set the combo, and, and then did they have like a like a sort of contingency plan for if you forgot the combination? Like, how do you get this thing off? Like <laughs> well, you break off the top of the, the door, probably. Oh, this, <laughs> thing, oh this thing was 20 bucks. What In what time period? Is, is that like an original sticker? Was yeah, that's like the original a, sticker. So that's, that's a really that's, overpriced lock. Yeah, that's, that's very an expensive, expensive lock in, in like 1986. These are the clay oh, figures. I already, already broke it. So yeah, that's okay. Go. No, it's his hand comes off. Okay. Um, the clay figure is used in the Nintendo Power Shoot. I think this is November, December, 1989. The, the cover shoot. That for Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. so, yeah, it's a little Howard so, and a little Nester. Oh, that's if so you, cool. If you grew up with video game magazines like I did, you probably remember that Nintendo Power did a lot of clay covers. Their first one, their first issue and their last issue specifically about uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 and then Super Mario Brothers for Wii U uh, featured clay Marios running away from either Toad or Bowser. Um, or uh, this is this is Howard and Nestor as Tetris pieces. Uh, that's incredible. They came from Howard Phillips, the game master's personal collection. Oh my uh, god! And once again. These belong in a museum. It's yeah, like a yeah. weird artifact to own. That's so cool. Um, but yeah. All right. So you mentioned the Love Tester. So yes. we are going Ooh. now back in time. Oh, so you have to one. the Nintendo Love yeah. Tester. Uh, this uh, this uh, children, if you're if you're under the age of eighteen, you might want to look away because this please is about to get a little bit steamy. Please have your parents place the homework lock on this show. Yeah. yeah. This is a sexy box. Look yeah. At that. Well, For so, uh, young ladies and men. Yeah. Um, so this one, it, the Love <laughs> weird Tester, combo. <laughs> was oddly enough one of the first electronic Nintendo products. Uh -huh. um, so. You most of the time, it was a more physical, mechanical. Um, I love how the Nintendo game I love everyone's like, yeah, Nintendo's a family company. It's like, yeah, well, where do you think those families came from? Mom right. and Dad met at the bar. They yeah. were having a little key party. They were playing the uh, the Love Tester. So this one also, was released in the U.S. because the uh, the manual is in English. Yeah, Ooh, this this is probably one of the least sexy things I've ever seen. I don't know. It, <laughs> it kind of looks like the female product reproductive system. It's an icebreaker. System. So yeah. how how you're supposed to use it? And this is designed by Gunpei Yokoi, the guy oh, who made, yeah, yeah, yeah. designed the Game Boy, who and designed the D-pad yeah. and Metroid. And Which you, do, you bring this to like a bar or you're out with people and like, oh, let's test each other. So one person holds one end, the other person holds Brian, one, the other end. Let's see how we. And then you along. hold hands to see what your compatibility That's is like. That's incredible. Could you so imagine? You two hold hands. Like, how? How oh, weird is oh, we're that? We're not moving the needle here. Uh, so one is of it? the one of the hints they say is, um, you know, sometimes if you kiss, you'll get a better reading. Did we move the needle? <laughs> you didn't move the needle, so um, uh, a little bit. So like, pickup lines are skeevy. But yeah. uh, imagine pulling this thing out at a bar. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, miss. Uh, I'd like to use this Nintendo device to uh, determine whether or not we should procreate. <laughs> Would you like to follow through with this? This is the 1967 Nintendo Ultra Hand. The Ultra Hand. Yeah. Yeah. So. I love this thing because, like you said before, Nintendo has a physical archive of some of the things they save, but the Ultra Hand has actually made its way into a couple of Nintendo video games yes. as well. Yeah. Uh, WarioWare specifically for, right. the for the Game Boy Advance. 
had uh, an Ultra Hand mini game in it. Yep. Um, it's actually popped up in quite a few things. I believe there might have been a Smash Brothers trophy at one point. I love too. every single bit of just graphic design on this box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look so, at this weird ass family. Look at these guys. <laughs> like, what are they up to? So now. The this, kids stealing stuff off the shelves and the girls giving the dad an orange. This looks incredibly <laughs> delicate. Now, this is basically a giant extending arm that uh, what senior citizens can use to reach things on high shelves? Well, it's for kids, right? So what, what you do is you, you, you squeeze the ends and it extends out. Um, and so, yeah, the, you can see like these are made of rubber, which is now, which is now over wearing. 40 yeah. or 50 yeah. years old, right? Yeah. And so, um, I, yeah, yeah, sure. You, give it a shot. And then, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so extend it out. And then uh, it's when you pull the string is what closes the oh, thing at the end. It's so. like a glorified pooper scooper. Yeah. <laughs> Again, like on, on the precipice of a brand new Nintendo console, which, you know, is just as toy like and joyous and goofy and weird as everything they've ever made. Mm -hmm. I think it's so awesome to just sort of see the pattern. Path from from where they came because yeah. they have always been making strange, bizarre uh, things that sort of go diagonal from what the rest of the market is doing. And right. I, I I cherish the fact that we still get to see them do that today.